Shalom, shalom, sisters. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to the Most High God of Israel. Call Yahweh Shai. This is um an old little piece that um <laughs> I had put in my notes a while back, but just going on Wisdom of Solomon chapter six and how to get the kingdom in sisters spare time what we mean y'all can get into wisdom of solomon in chapter six it's a mighty mighty chapter but i'm not going to read the whole chapter just want to point out these few verses that stuck out to me and it reads wisdom of solomon chapter six and verse 18 and love is the keeping of her laws and the her is wisdom just throwing it out there. Her, the scripture says her a lot. A lot of times in the scriptures, you hear her laws, her this, her that. It's nine times out of ten is wisdom. Because wisdom is likened unto a woman. Reading on. And the giving heed unto her laws is assurance, is the assurance of incorruption. Verse 19. And incorruption Make it as near unto God. So when we're incorruptible in the spirit, we are made closer to the most high. How do we become incorruptible? By keeping her laws. And how do we show that we love the most high? By keeping his laws. Because the laws of the most high is wisdom. The wisdom. And verse 20 reads, Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. So us desiring the wisdom of Yahweh, desiring to know these scriptures, desiring to know how to be better servants of him, how to magnify the Lord's name, all these things bring forth to a kingdom. The kingdom where Yahweh is in rulership and is in the earth. And verse 21 reads, if your delight be then in thrones and sceptures, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forever. So if you desire and you delight at the fact that, okay, the Most High is going to destroy this place so we can be in rulership so Jacob could rule, if we delight in that, that fact, because it's a fact, is going to happen. Was I willing? Um, if we delight in that, then we have to honor wisdom. We have to honor these law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High has granted us, has given to us. It's a blessing. It's the greatest gift that the Most High could give us is the, are these laws to keep us perfect, keep us moral, and keep us on a straight and narrow path and keep us closer to Him, the Almighty Power of the world this earth and if we want to be called great in the kingdom and rule over these nations we must honor wisdom we must honor wisdom we must honor the most high in our thoughts and our actions in our speech everything all doing all these things honor the most high and his commandments when we're careful about what we say when we're careful about you know, what we think or what we let ourselves think. And we're careful about what we put into our bodies. All these things. And honor the commandments by keeping them to the best of our abilities. With perfectness, all these things are going to help us to reign forever. This is the perfect will of the Most High. We keep these commandments and in turn... We are in rulership. Our people are in rulership in the times to come when this place is destroyed. Because we don't want to get destroyed with the rest of this world. We we, we don't we don't want to get destroyed with this world. We want to be in the kingdom reigning. Because we were born to rule. Born to rule, most I willing. And Verse 23 reads, Neither will I go with consuming envy, for such a man shall have no fellowship with wisdom. 
we must put away all envying, y'all. All envying, envying brothers, envying sisters, envying our husbands, our worldly people and counterparts, and even ourselves. Because you can envy yourself as well, believe it or not. And if we don't do all these things, then wisdom will have nothing to do with us. We're not going to be dwelling with wisdom. We're going to have no knowledge. We're going to be ignorant if we're too busy envying. Dang, envying our past self. Dang, I remember when I was this, this, and this in the world or this, this, and this a couple years back. No, we're better. Hopefully, we're better and, you know, more perfect now than we were last week, two months ago, a year ago, whatever the case is. We got to put away all envying, envying what this sister has, envying that brother, whatever it is, materialistic stuff, envying our husbands. Dang, why is he over me? Why can't I be over him? Whatever it is. Envying people of the world. Dang, they got all this money and they wicked as, they wicked as I don't know what. I'm trying to do, keep the commandments. Why well, I ain't got this, that, and that. No, we can't have those thoughts. So... I just wanted to bring out that little that little piece in there. Just like I said, it's not going to be super long, as y'all can see. It's not long. I just wanted to bring out that um, a little gem that I found in the Book of Wisdom of Solomon, Chapter 6. And again, I titled it How to Get the Kingdom. So how to get the kingdom? We desire wisdom, and wisdom is the keeping of the most size laws and that's how we also show that we love him i love y'all sisters love when y'all have a beautiful shabbat and shalom